guys. I was talking to my husband the other day. He's been so happy in the last few months. It's been quite extraordinary because in the past he could be inclined to be a bit stressed out and grumpy. And I can see that this happiness has come because he's had this understanding that's just been like, it's been in his intellectual mind for quite a long time, but it's just dropped now into his doing mind, into his capacity to do life in this way. And what was quite interesting is that I've been telling him all this time that there's a misunderstanding going on. And when we spoke about what it is that it shifted for him, he said, no, 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 it's not a misunderstanding. It's, um, it's seeing something from a different angle, I think he said. It's seeing something from a different angle. It's not a misunderstanding. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. That's what I would call a misunderstanding, but it's all good. And the thing that he saw from a different angle was so intriguing to me because to me, when I heard the story myself, it just kind of went and I didn't really even understand it that much. But when my husband heard the story, it just made the penny drop for him in a way that completely changed his attitude. And the story went like this. Um, it was about a, a man who was becoming very religious back in the 15th century or something. And he was a nobleman, and in those days the nobleman would walk around with a sword, in a sword belt on their waist. And he was becoming religious, and in this particular religion it wasn't really acceptable to be walking around with a weapon. And he was in this terrible conflict, and he said to his priest or his spiritual guidance leader, whatever, he said to him, I don't know what to do because I'm stuck between this nobleman status where I must walk around with a sword and with my spiritual goal, which is to be more pacifist and to live my life more gently and more lovingly. And his spiritual guide, guide so whatever his leader, I don't know what it was, said to him, don't worry, you can wear the sword until you're ready to put it down. Just wear the sword until you're comfortable in putting it down. And that was so interesting because my husband just went bing in that moment. I just went swish in that moment. But my husband went ping and I said to him afterwards, what happened? What's changed? And he said to me, Ange, I decided to put down the sword. And I was like, oh, so, what do you mean? <laughs> and he said, I just decided to put down the sword. I didn't have to hold on so tightly to everything anymore. I didn't need everything to be just so exactly right. I didn't have to have an expectation of something being something other than what it was. And so I would have described that in completely different language, but for him, the story of putting down the sword just was, he could just put down. And I guess what that means is that he could put down a burden. He could put down a weight that he was carrying that he actually didn't want to carry anymore. He could put down a responsibility that he never was able to actually fulfill because it was never under his control. He could just put it down. And in putting it down, all this weight was lifted off his shoulders. And he could just have the airtime and the mental space to be happy again. So, I don't know, maybe that story will mean something to you. Have a great day. I'll speak to you later.